Welcome to Mints, everybody. Today I want to talk about what we consume, but not what we consume as food, <clears throat> but what we consume, you know, in as news and um, our surroundings and the people we're with and the voices we listen to and things of that nature. This topic came from asking the community in YouTube to give me, you know, some feedback on if they want me to talk about a topic, and I'll do my best to cover it in my way, but it was basically, hey, Let's talk about how we consume things like the news and how they affect us. So let's just start with the news. Ultimately, most of the news channels and the way that you know mainstream media pushes out information, is it a negative, fear-driving, uh, you know, just crippling, in my opinion, manner? They're very, very, very little focus on positive, good things, and they're very micro-focused on everything bad that's happened in the world. You know, there's thousands and thousands of countries. What are we going to talk about? Only the ones that are fighting and bombing and doing things. Uh, there's tons and tons of things happening that are great every day. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the shortages, the issues, the problems. And we kind of all do this as human beings. So I guess that's why people feed and flock and watch it. But ultimately, we focus on those negative things. And if we get trapped into that, they, they capture most of our attention and energy because they're the problems we have. They're the things that have to be solved. They are what feeds our fear. But if you step back and say, well, okay, let's only do that to the things that we can control and deal with, mainstream media and news isn't really useful for most of us unless you're really making big, big impacts or you're influencing huge you know, groups of people or you're in high levels of leadership in, in some big organization or government, all that stuff is really almost useless. And you really just should look up the things that matter to your own personal economics and your own personal happiness and just stick with that because a daily dose of the news is a daily dose of negative energy. So, you know, instead, you know, look for outlets that are positive, channels that are positive, groups that are positive, things like that. There's so much good happening in the world, but instead we'll take in all the negative and bad because that's what we talk about, we focus on. So another thing, another bad place uh, or a place that you need to be very aware of is, is who's in your circle. Who's, who's your tight circle of people inside of work, outside of work? Select them super wisely because they're where you get most of your inputs from. If you have people who are Debbie Downers and grumpy and negative, they're going to wear off on you. If you spend most of your time with them, that's what you're going to turn into or that's how you're going to think. You can try to combat it. You can try to overcome it. But you're always then, you know, the voices in your head you're not displaying and showing to people. The goal is to get the voices in the head to match the actions and what's truly happening around you and what your truth is, not hiding them, suppressing them, and still having them get louder because of the people you surround yourself with. So who you surround yourself with, big, 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 big impact on your positivity, where your life's going to go, where your happiness is going to go, where your health is going to go, all those things. So, you know, as we look for ways to get positive, read a good book. Um, understand what you can control. Only let those things run in your thoughts, you know. If you're an overthinker or you're, you're, you know, ADHD or any of those things, you know, I personally, I think all the time, always thinking. So it's dangerous for us because we can think about all the negative or we can think about all the positive. Uh, you can't ignore things that are issues or problems, but you can still think about them in a manner to positively move forward or to positively accept the lesson of a bad situation or a bad um, occurrence that happens but at the same time you could dwell get stuck on it it can break you it can slow you down it can make you not move that would be applying like negative energy to it so either way I hope this video helps a little bit but you know if someone makes you feel less energetic less happy that's probably somebody you want to limit your exposure to if something makes you feel that way limit your exposure to it if it makes you feel the opposite try to have more of that in your life try to do more of that in your life and you'll find it'll help guide you to where you should be spending your time, who you should be spending your time with. And, you know, I don't know.
try to be positive, try to be around and fix your environment so that what you're consuming is positive energy more than negative energy. Have a good night.